Hello. In this presentation, I'll introduce a new project aiming to make it possible to monitor respiratory rate in daily life. Respiratory rate, the number of breaths taken in a minute, is used in a range of clinical settings for diagnosis and prognosis. Normal respiratory rates lie between 12 and 20 breaths per minute. Elevated respiratory rates have been found to be associated with COVID-19 diagnosis, admission to intensive care with COVID-19, and death in hospital with COVID-19. Consequently, it may be helpful to monitor respiratory rate to tackle COVID-19. Wearables provide a potential opportunity to monitor respiratory rate unobtrusively in daily life. Many wearables monitor the pulse at the wrist by measuring an optical signal, the photoplethysmogram or PPG for short. This signal exhibits a pulse wave for each heartbeat and is also subtly influenced by breathing. Consequently, much re research has been conducted on estimating respiratory rate from this signal. To introduce myself, I'm a researcher in biomedical engineering at the University of Cambridge and at City, University of London. I work alongside clinical colleagues, such as at St Thomas's Hospital shown here, to develop signal processing algorithms for wearables, which could hopefully be used for clinical decision making. We have previously assessed the performance of algorithms to monitor respiratory rate from wearables in laboratory conditions and in the hospital setting. The aim of this project, funded by an EPSRC Impact Acceleration Award, is to verify the performance of algorithms to monitor respiratory rate from the PPG in daily life. The project consists of three parts. Firstly, updating our toolbox of respiratory rate algorithms to include the latest developments in technology. Secondly, using this toolbox to assess the performance of algorithms when used with wearable data in daily life. And thirdly, to create a recommended algorithm for use in wearables. So, firstly, updating our toolbox of algorithms. Several years ago, we created a toolbox of algorithms to estimate respiratory rate from physiological signals. This toolbox has been a valuable tool used in both our own research and by several other researchers. The algorithms estimate respiratory rate from wearables by extracting a surrogate respiratory signal, bottom right, from the PPG signal, bottom left, which, under ideal conditions, the surrogate looks similar to a reference respiratory signal, shown in top right. However, PPG signals acquired in daily life are often contaminated by noise, presenting a challenge to estimating respiratory rate. Since the toolbox was developed, Novel approaches have been proposed to handle noisy signals, so these approaches will be incorporated into the toolbox. Secondly, assessing the performance of algorithms in daily life, acquired from wearable sensors and reference respiratory signals. These datasets contain several activities of daily living, providing opportunity to assess performance in real-world scenarios. We intend to publish this assessment. Thirdly, creating a recommended algorithm. We intend to transfer a recommended algorithm from the MATLAB code used in the toolbox to an alternative language suitable for use on devices, such as C code. Its performance will be verified through comparison with the original MATLAB implementation. The code will then be made publicly available via the Toolbox website. Given the potential utility of respiratory rate monitoring in daily life, I hope that this project will contribute to providing robust methods to monitor respiratory rate unobtrusively and at scale. By updating our toolbox of algorithms, assessing the performance of algorithms in daily life, and creating a recommended algorithm, it's my hope that this work will be of great benefit to society. For further details,
please see the website listed here. Feel free to get in touch. And finally, the slides are available at the DOI listed below.